this video and hundreds more like it available on free Photoshop video tutorials.com. In this video we're going to learn how to um, make an image seem like it's made entirely out of text. So we're going to do a little collage here. We're going to use two images and it's all going to be images uh, that are going to be masked into text. So you're really only seeing text but there's images within that. So uh, let me just show you how this works. Right. So here we have the first image that we want to use and uh, basically what I want to do is uh, now add a whole bunch of text where this image will be showing through the text that we are going to be adding. So the uh, first step is that you need to find something that you want to fill up this uh, with text. And uh, the way you can do this is, uh, for example, I copied here a poem that I found online. So I'm just going to copy this, Control and C to copy. And if you find a poem, um, it's better to actually delete the, uh, the, the all the return marks. You want it just one continual text without any returns, right? And now what you want to do is just go into your text and uh, just go outside your image and click and drag to make it uh, a selection that is the size of your of your entire image like so and then you're just going to paste that text in there okay now you're going to select it all control and a to select and then uh you're probably going to want to make this uh text smaller and uh, if you bring up your window here go to window and and uh character right there what you want to do here is um, probably change around the, the, the line spacing. You want it to be actually quite tight, the, the line spacing. So first finalize the size of the text that you want. And you want it, the smaller it is, the better it is actually to be able to uh, discern uh, an image uh, from the text. And you want a fairly bold text. So if you want to find a font that is fairly bold, something like this uh, would do quite nice and then what you want to do is just make the make sure that the the spacing between them is actually quite tight so for this I'm just gonna go ahead and just do a three point and two point five here and uh, remove the spacing between the the letters themselves okay so that's looking quite good now what I want to do is just um, go ahead and just go in here and then just paste that text again and again and again and again until we fill up fill up the whole entire space okay once you're done with that now what I want to do is uh, press return here and I want to zoom out a little bit here because what I want to do now is make sure that all my text let me just show you here is uh, going through the entire of entirety of the image so right here there's some parts that doesn't have text it's very easy to fix that I can just do a control and T and holding down shift I'm just going to increase the size of my text here and uh, reposition it a little bit so that I can see that there's uh, text going all the way around my image once you're satisfied with that press enter okay and now what we're going to do is actually double click on our background layer here to transform it into a regular layer we're going to go above that move that above and now holding down uh, alt and you're going to put your mouse um, between the two layers and as soon as you do holding down alt you see this different uh, icon here instead of the hand icon you have the little thing and if you click on that you're adding a clipping mask which means that um, the image is only going through the text like that. Now what you can do is add a new layer and fill that in either with white or fill it in with black. See what you like best. I'm going to go with white here. So we have the text and like I said if you want to make this a little bit better you can make it even smaller, the text even smaller and the space in between things even smaller so that it looks a little bit more uh, you know, so so it looks like the image is coming out through more. Or if you want more of the text to be coming through, then you want this size text or bigger, so you can actually read the text. So it's a bit of a compromise there, which way you'd like to do it. This is a, this is okay for what I'm going to show you. And now I want to do another step to this, which is bringing in another image with a bigger size text. So I'm going to create more text here. I'm just going to go above here and create um, some text. Now, because I have this text layer here that is quite big, when I go with my text tool and click on it, I'm actually selecting that text layer. So what I want to just do for now is just unview that and create a new text like so. And I'm just going to put in here, uh, uh, let's see, Dave. The name of the kid is Dave here. Okay. I'm going to undo this um, the clipping mask here. I'm just going to move that out. So I still have the clipping mask here. I just move that text out of that. So with Dave here, I'm just going to create a bigger size text for Dave and uh, sort of place it here. That's all right. Select my text here, Dave, double click on it, and also decrease the spacing between the letters a lot so that it comes a lot closer. Okay. Once we have that selected, I want to just position here, Dave, make sure I have a good size text. 
good bold font text here. And I'm going to pretty much do the same thing. I'm going to bring in another image, this one here. I want to do a Control and A to select all, Control and C to copy. Then I'm going to go back into my image and do a Control and V to paste that image. And now what we can do is just do the same thing, holding down Alt between the layers, click on that, and we have a clipping mask. Now what I want to do is just focus on actually getting that other image to here. So I want to try to get maybe his eyes to come through at some point in the image, perhaps do it here or there. The positioning is really up to you. I'm going to actually put Dave's eyes, where can I put them? Right here. This is looking quite good. So we have Dave's eyes coming through right here from an, a separate image. And now what I can do is click on my text layer and make the, making this text stand out from the background, I can just add a, a drop shadow. So I'm going to go ahead and click on drop shadow and uh, see how that looks. Okay, that drop shadow setting there is quite, working quite well. That's 75 and 5 and 5 here. I'm going to click OK. And now you can, uh, if you want to reposition anything, you have to select the text and the image that is clipped to the text to move everything. And of course, you can move the text independently, but then that'll change the positioning of where it's showing the image. And likewise, you can change the image that you've already seen. So this is pretty flexible in the way that you can move things about. And I'm just going to show you one last step here to actually uh, make this um, differentiate itself a little bit better. Is I'm just going to, below everything here, I'm going to create a new layer. And I'm going to color pick something that has to do with the image here, probably like a skin color, skin tone here. And I'm going to be using now my gradient from um, the foreground to transparency. And I'm just going to, with that new layer, just add something like this to, to get it to uh, discern a little bit more, a little bit more, uh, make this stand out a little bit more. And if you're finding this is looking a little bit weird, then you can just move that above the image itself, actually. And then what you have is just that gradient going above this image here, but not above our separate part here of this text, Dave. So that works quite well. So we'll leave it at that. And this is how you actually create, as you can see, it's all text and it's a text, an image made out of text. If you enjoyed this video, show your support by subscribing, rating, and adding it to favorites. Leave comments on our website and we'll create even more videos that interest you.